What's up guys, Orange Octopus here, and yep, the PS5 reveal happened, and it's kind of weird because I've never owned a PlayStation, but I'm talking about the PlayStation 5. So let's talk about the PlayStation 5 reveal. It happened on June 11th of 2020, and it, 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 was, it was, it was, um, okay, let's just talk about it. Okay, so I, I have like these, I have like small notes that like uh, I, I wrote down just while watching the thing and uh, I don't, I didn't like take big notes and stuff. I'm just gonna ramble about it and then like edit the audio later and stuff, so uh, I, I, I guess I'll start. Uh, GTA 5, that is becoming free online, I think that's what it was, when... Uh, the PlayStation 5 releases. I think that's what it is. And I don't play GTA, so it's not like important to me and stuff. But that's nice for people who do like GTA. Spider-Man 2, Miles Morales. I, I I did not play the first one. Once again, I'd never owned a PlayStation. But from what I can tell, but the first Spider-Man is, is a really good game. So um, I, I'm excited to know more about the second one. Uh, then we got like some car stuff. I, 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 the only thing I wrote down on the list was car thing, and I don't really, I, I don't know what that means, but it's, it's another racing game, and it, it, I guess it's cool. Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. This one's the one I'm most excited about because it just looked really fun, and it looked really cool, and then it had the, the new female one, and then that, she looked cool, and then, yeah. If I did get a PS5, then this would be one of the games I would definitely go after, so... Project Athia. A Athia? I, I, I don't know how to pronounce it. All I wrote was a question mark after it, so I, I don't. They, they didn't really. There's not much to say. There's also Stray, where it's like the cat with the backpack. Uh, I also wrote a question mark onto this one. So. After this, I wrote 4K Blu ray, which is one of the features of the PS5. Yeah, I, I think. I, I don't know why I wrote that down. I guess it's cool. Uh, Returnal. I don't remember much except it's just, it's just a shooter game and it, it, it seems really cool, but uh... Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Um, the first thing I thought when I saw this was, wow, this is Super Mario 3D World, but for the PlayStation. But I, I still think it seems, it seems really fun, so I, I, I would pick this one up as well if I got a PS5. Uh, Destruction All Stars. I'm going to admit, I thought this was Fortnite 2 or something like that. I thought it was Fortnite. I, it looks so similar, and I don't know why. I, I always, I thought it was like, oh my god, is this Fortnite? So, I was wrong. It's like this racing card fighting thing, which I guess that's cool. But yeah, Kino Bridge of Spirits. This one, I'm not that interested in, but it looks really cool and. Um, I would pick it up if it was on sale. NBA 2021. Um, I'm not into basketball games, so I don't know why he wrote this one down, but the graphics look really cool, like, like really good, and that's the thing that, like, that, I, mean, I guess that's the reason why he wrote it down. Uh, bug snacks. You eat food, and then you become the food. So, I didn't write that down, I just thought of that right now, but it, I, it's weird. There were a few other games that they showed, but like, I, I didn't write all of them down because I kind of wanted to make this video short because, I don't know, it was only like an hour or so, so it's not, it's not that like, much to talk about. Uh, but they did show the overall design for the PS5, and I gotta say, the memes about it looking like a Wi-Fi router, it, it looks it looks like a Wi-Fi router, I'm sorry, it, it just does. I mean, the controller design, I think it's, it's kind of cool, I like the color scheme of white and blue, but the, the actual console design, I'm sorry, it just, it, it just doesn't look good. I mean, it looks cool, but like, I can't take it seriously, like, why did the Xbox Series X have to look like, like a mini fridge, and then this one had to look like a Wi-Fi router? Like, what up with that, guys? Like, why do you have to make them look kind of silly? But, um, overall, I thought the event was kind of cool, I guess. It, it was okay. Some of the games were really cool, and I'm excited to see more about it, like, see more of it. But, um, the overall console, it looks okay. 
and then most of the games were kind of eh for me, except the ones I liked. So, yeah, do I have? Am I gonna get this a rating? Probably not. I'm just gonna say, if you care about the PlayStation 5, then watch it. You probably would have watched it by now. So, did this event make me want to buy a PlayStation 5? No.